Hey everyone, this is Kevin from Passion for the Word with a quick word from the Word. This one, uh, I'm, I'm working on a, a bigger video uh, on prophecy. And in the process of doing that, I'm using a little bit out of Psalm uh, 22, which covers a lot of the crucifixion. And uh, I don't know if you've ever studied the crucifixion. I mean, actually, the, the science behind it, the medical aspects of it, I, I've done some of this. It's a, it's a tough subject. This was a very, very cruel death. It'd be hard to imagine a, a, a more excruciating death. And actually, the word excru excruciating, the C-R-U-X in, in the word excruciating, actually comes from the same root as crucifixion. Uh, it, it is to die on the cross. That's the, the word excruciating, the extreme pain involved with that actually is from dying on the cross. Uh, every aspect of this was designed to create pain. The nails, uh, the, the, the whipping on the back. I mean, they had to, pull, to, to take a breath. He literally had to pull himself up and, and scrape that, that, that scourged back against that rough hewn wood uh, just to take a breath. Uh, just caused me, I, 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 I wanted to cover a little something different than what I'm going to cover in that video. And I, I'm hoping to have that out to you later on today, but I don't believe that Jesus got a quantity discount when he uh, accepted the, the, the responsibility of paying for our sins. I don't believe, there's nothing that would lead me to believe that he got a quantity discount. I think Every single sin that you committed, every single sin that I committed, Jesus specifically paid for, painfully, with his shed blood. Uh, to think that somebody, especially God, but that somebody would take that on themselves for my benefit is, is rather overwhelming. Um, the other thing to think about is when he died on that cross 2,000 years ago, how many of your sins were yet in the future? The answer is all of them. That includes the ones that you haven't done yet. Uh, you know, it's nothing you can do about yesterday's sins. But today's sins and tomorrow's sins are yet, yet to happen. In a sense, tomorrow, when, when you feel yourself tempted, led to sin, whether it be tell a lie, steal, uh, look on a woman with lust, whatever. Uh, I believe that in the act of doing that, in a sense, going back in time, you are adding to his pain. If you resist the temptation, not commit that sin, you are relieving him of having to pay for that sin 2,000 years in the past. When I think of this, I know when I feel tempted, I'm, I'm you know, tempted to tell a lie, uh, tempted to uh, what, whatever the temptation may be, maybe yell at somebody because they pulled out in front of me and uh, uh, any sin, it doesn't really matter. One of the things I think about is in the act of doing this, I'm adding to what, what price Jesus had to pay in the past. And I wish I could say that that stops me every single time. Sometimes I don't think about it till afterwards, but uh, something to think about. Maybe if maybe this will help you, and uh, I hope it does. And we'll get back to work on this other uh, video. Thank you, and God bless.